love drama, then you're a very happy person tonight. Never a dull moment with these Kings. At times, it looked like it wasn't going to happen then. An incredible moment occurred late in the second overtime against the Rangers. Szép számmal érkeznek a további üzenetek. Idős Balázs Lajosnak születésnapja alkalmából that's photographer Nate Anderson uh, do, doing what he can to stay warm. Decided to, to have him run a few laps here around the Riverview Theater. Uh, at 12.45 today, Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day going to be playing. And then at 2.20, Guardians of the Galaxy. You can check out Nate. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs up from him. We're doing whatever, whatever we can to stay warm. Worried he might slip. Tell him to take it easy out there. Jacqueline, how are you keeping your feet? I'm just trying to stay grounded because these gusts are really picking up and we know that the winds are not. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, that was that. Okay, so we're down and we're just going to try and get up right now. We're going to help Jacqueline up here. So there's the winds. It's actually getting quite bad. And uh, we are trying to keep our feet here. Now, what's amazing is we actually have the camera inside shooting through the window so you can actually see us. Otherwise, that camera was going to be a half a mile downwind. Alana Sims from Sterling Heights made a costly mistake. Ramon, where's your emergency? Um, I just need an escort. What do you mean? I need an escort to home. Are you in the restaurant? Are you in the parking lot? I'm in the restaurant. Well, why do you need an escort home? I don't. Why did you think you did? Um, because I've been drinking a little much. Not wanting to drive was a good decision. Calling 911 looking for a free ride home, bad decision. Water rates just went up. Would you, you'd probably be paying, along with your kittens, about 15 extra dollars. How do you feel about that? No kidding. Oh, you don't use any water. You don't like baths, huh? Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to stop attacking my mic. Now that's just uncalled for. Well, this is inappropriate. We got, the, we got the rough over here and everything. There we go. There we go. Hey. All right. All right, Mike. Sure, you are. Mike, are you ready? Ready? ready to show them how to do it? All right. Hut. Oh, he already fumbled. Oh, he already fumbled. <laughs> I had to outdo Greg he Kelly there. Done deal. Did I make the team? <laughs> Mike, here, have a nope. book. Yeah. Hey, hit, hit the book. Read this. Hit the book. You need to read. You need to read. From some of the vets this morning. Tessa John, good morning. The veterans I talked with say they're cautiously optimistic about a Trump presidency. They say one of their hopes uh, is that you, you don't have to be part of the system just to get ahead. They want the administration to do a better job of honoring in the military. Also, that he thinks there's a sense that people are tired from the direction of our country. Another veteran I spoke with said he wasn't so sure of the president elect. He told me he needs to tone down his rhetoric and that he doesn't think a lot of what Trump is talking about. Ahoy, mateys. It's international talk like a pirate day. Ooh. So for the rest of this one, I'm really bad at accents, by the way. Me too. <laughs> uh, okay, so today, pepper your speech, speech with plenty of phrases like, Arr, Arr. A land ho, and hey, hey, Captain. Hi, hi. <laughs> oh. Okay, thanks so much for joining us. I'm Blake Keller. Aye, aye, bye bye. I might even be a little bit. I just found the one that makes waves at you. Yeah, you like that one? That's kind of cool. Yeah. What's your favorite emoji, April? Uh, the poop. What? <laughs> it's so funny. Have you seen it? Yes. It's a little pile of poop with eyeballs. I can't breathe. That is you said poop on TV. You're not supposed to do that. It's so funny, Alan. You have to be on with why, me on why this one. Why have I seen it? You love it. 
Why, well, why we won't have talk I about seen that we won't talk about why I send it to you, poopy man. Hey, we have a. <laughs> Dinner outside. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> he can't do that up here. They can be up here, but that, okay. That I should put the dance. You, you got to stop that, Mara. <laughs> All right, let's go to this. <laughs> Speaking of babies, we want to congratulate 10 on 10 photo journalist Joe Baker and his wife, Colby, on the birth of their daughter. How about it? Oh, Stella. look, she's beautiful. Good golly, look at her. She was born yesterday, weighing in at 8 pounds, 12 ounces. <laughs> this is some action going up on in here. And congratulations, <laughs> Joe, and we're so excited for you. <laughs> we will announce the third rabbit's name in nine months. Mike check, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Mike check, hello, hello. Do you smell out yet. here? What's going on? Oh my gosh, the blooming Look up. trees. Do you oh see yeah, that? oh we've got so full bloom. Don't look at me like I'm crazy every time I ask you a question. Like you said, do you smell? And I'm like, because it smells like orange blossoms. Oh, got it. Yeah. Where did you think I meant? I smell your hairspray mainly. Oh, I mean, yes. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> That's the most important thing I'm told. You forced me into a corner. That's all. So. Right. The email yeah. I get is all about my hair. So sorry. <laughs> like can... you don't have any product. Well, please don't ever touch me again. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Makes him very nervous. That's what you get for coming out into my space. Had a feeling. Yep. <laughs> okay. Oh, it is so. Talk good. about weather. Mm -hmm. I don't know if if, if, could, if it strikes you. If you feel like talking about weather, you could do the forecast today. What do you see? Sunshine. And Enjoy Colorado. It's gorgeous. Changes are coming. Done. A Look at that. Cumulus cloud. We don't now, know. where do I pick up Kathy Saban's paycheck? 30 in the morning hours. <laughs> I was wondering what you guys were laughing at over there. What is that? Is that is that a is that a going away cupcake? It's a going away cupcake. Okay, this so is... jokingly, I was like, <laughs> I didn't think they would actually put it on. <laughs> I was going to telestrate on that. It would be pretty cool. Enjoy it. What kind? Is it Funfetti? It is Funfetti, the it best cupcake ever. It looks very Funfetti. I, um, just in case, Mindy, you're watching right now, I'm in mourning because Kirsten is leaving. That is why I'm wearing black, and that is why I'm eating sugar and fattening food. I am sad. <laughs> Funfetti Friday as Kirsten leaves. Well, we'll have to continue the Funfetti tradition the next couple of days. Yeah, very enjoyable. Any more of those left? There's a lot left. Awesome. I'm going to have to check that out. All right, anyway. Well, I just wanted to take this uh, brush and kind of show you what we're working with here. So uh, either way, you can kind of see that you can get the it's, it's still very thin, uh, not super icy. Uh, if you want to use the ice side, uh, I would say this one works a little better. Back to you guys in the studio. Francis, stay with us because it's time, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, for Scraping 101. So pretend like you're back in class. And, and the first thing is, Laura. Okay, so the little, the little, <laughs> the little scraper edge, Francis, that's actually for yeah. your windshield, not for the car. Just FYI, <laughs> we don't want any scratch paint. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> So yeah, try it. <laughs> she can't reach there it. There we go. Oh, that oh, yay. Yay. <laughs> well, this this works really. That there you there go. You that go. works right. on the correct the usage paint. there. I was wondering why there was two ends. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I was just trying to show you what it was like out here. <laughs> And that was Scraping 101. Eyewitness News starts right now. And good evening, our top story tonight. We are... Uh, Bushnell Park uh, went pink today for the Susan Coleman of, of Connecticut annual race for the cure. And what a cancer survivor is saying tonight about the amazing event. And a manhunt continues in New York after two convicted murderers escape. The latest on that is coming up.
Now to a Five Cares event. An overwhelming show of support as thousands take part in the Susan Coleman Connecticut race for the cure in Bushnell Park this morning. The annual event helping those battling breast cancer and celebrating survivors. Channel 3's Eyewitness News reporter uh, Sajata Jan has that story. And we're going now right to Hartford and uh, Roger Susannon is live in Hartford where they just had a, 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 a big event in Hartford. Uh, Roger, you're talking He has become an award-winning actor this entire season leading up to the Matthew Academy Awards. Yeah. Longview native of okay. Texas, Matthew yes. McConaughey, I believe he's on the phone with us right now. What? Matthew, are you there? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, what is shaking news a day breaking? <laughs> Matthew, is this really you? Seriously. Well, this is really you. I got to ask that right now. How are you? What's your name one more time? There? Well, my what name is you? Matthew. My name is Cynthia Segueira. I actually used to work at KLTV in Tyler, so I covered a lot of stories in your hometown yeah. of Longview. I remember. Say your last name again one more time. Say it real slow. Isaguirre. <laughs> Isaguirre. Oh, and we know my. you like Latin women, so I figured it wouldn't be hard for you to say that last name. <laughs> oh, this one knows me right there. How you doing there, darling? Well, how I want to you? know how you're doing as you prepare for the Academy Awards. I mean, hello, oh. Dallas Buyers Club. You did a phenomenal job. Uh, I think you're going to win, buddy. Oh, bless your heart, baby girl. All right, Ron. Matthew, let me ask you something. Here's a question for you. I know you spent some time in Dallas. When you're here, do you listen yeah. to 99.5 The Wolf and Ken Buckner in the morning? I have no <laughs> recollection of who that particular individual may be. Ladies and gentlemen, Ken Buckner. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. How are you guys this morning? Hi, Izzy. A&M is going to do a great job because Johnny just got the Heisman. This is he's why I like it. you. This is why I like you very much. <laughs> you, like you yeah, very these much. are high, high-minded fans for sure. <laughs> yes. Uh, what do you think about the? Game? I'm, I'm all for oh, A&M. Yeah. Oh my. Oh gosh, you guys. <laughs> oh you guys, my. We are live. Giga Maggie. All right. Well, Giga. Going, yes. We are going to win. We have always <laughs> been great in this, like SEC. Oh. We've been great in the SEC. We have like. Definitely found our spot in the SEC, so we're Stop. going to win. Oh, you have nothing on us. Come on, y'all. I could not have said it any better. He said, Kapuya, Kapuya. And your boy, that hell just came in. I looked at my, opened my door, and I looked out my door and started hitting me in my head. I took out running, and ran to my restroom, and then I called my mama to see what she all right. He I knew me. something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arms. Something is wrong here. Dead giveaway. Dead Charles, giveaway. Charles, thank you very Dead much. Dead giveaway. Thank you very much for your time. And either she homeless or she got problems. That's the only reason why she run to a black man. Charles, thank, thank you for being there, man. And certainly if we look at, you know, the changing complexion uh, of this cabinet compared to the last one, the one yesterday, and what we can see is that Adam, Older Adam, I know, Adam, do, so do you want to take a pause? Yep. Do you want to take a pause? No, no, you know, because they've they been talking non-stop. You okay? No, I swallowed a fly. That's all right. <laughs> uh, but I've, I, 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 there I've, was an old I've woman. Recovered now. I didn't make anybody stay here until 7 a.m. or 11 or whenever it is. Everybody finally left. I didn't make this kid pass out on my floor. People wanted to be here. Lewis Slung Pew. I hope I pronounced the last name correctly. Uh, yes, ma'am, it's Flossu. Oh, thank you very much. What can you tell us about this? Or, or is it something you've ever seen before like this? Uh, well, you know, we had a pressure break uh, around sunset, and uh, the cherry bomb must have popped through the uh, the top of the pipe and uh, just blew the bottom right out of it. It was, it was either a, a, a cherry bomb or someone took a really large dump, you know? Are you 100% sure about that? Is that is, is... That's, a, that's a fake call. Oh, we, we lost him. I'm sorry about that. We hope to get, get him back. Two weeks ago... Hi. <laughs> Sorry about that. You all right? Tied up a little bit. <laughs> I was moving to another set a moment ago, and my shoelace got caught in my and microphone. the backup microphone, not this one, the backup one. <laughs> so as you're reading the news, I'm trying to get the microphone out and of I my shoelace. And I saw you in my monitor. I was like, what so is going on So if you saw that a few there. minutes ago, that's what was going Live on. Live television, folks. Microphone in my shoelace, that's a first. <laughs> and we are also following some developing news in Hartford this morning. This is where crews are working an overnight fire. It's happening at the Connecticut Resource Recovery Authority recycling plant. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Evan White is live at the scene. Evan, what do you got? 
Eric and Kim, good morning to you.